Hey everybody, what's up? We're back with my Toolman world in Seven Days to Die. It is day 18, I'm getting close to the morning, and I decided, well, I'm going to record a little bit early. I know I have a nail gun somewhere, but I'm not worried I'm talking. <laughs> We're going to do another quest from the trader, but I have been dinking around quite a fair bit. I leveled up again, and instead of taking the armor perk, like I said last episode, I actually took the perk so I could craft more seeds. So if I don't actually end up having to go to Horde Night tonight, I will actually be essentially making my backyard bigger. Get this stuff out of the way. I cannot wait to get a crucible. I'm on pace to get a crucible from the trader as a quest, as well as finding it in loot, even though in loot is a lot harder. Not a big deal, though. And I did actually have a nurse coming and attacking the sides of my little uh, mine there to come after me, so they're mean. I'm going to need a lot of steel for that. Do -do 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 Wee! But I like my little entrance way. There is a path for the zombies to get to me, but I will probably have one shotgun and one machine gun turret to guard the entrance. The shotgun turret will be sitting up top on the roof, and the machine gun turret will be sitting to the side at the doorway, facing the doorway, in order to smack them as they sit there. Now that I think about it, I might actually use dart traps, because they will be sitting there. Have it set at head level, one block up... It'll be able to smoke them pretty good. You know, I think that works. Okay, let's see here. Hey, jackass, can I lighten that backpack up for you? Dude, I'm outside. I'm not inside. Shut up. Well, doesn't have anything. Well, actually, yeah, I'll take the large beef. I'll take the large beef ration mainly for the simple fact of, well, the large beef rations allow me to make spaghetti. Now, I did buy everything from you that I wanted to, right? You know, eventually I will have that on my own accord, so I'm not going to worry about it. Ooh, pardon me. Be careful out there. I'm so glad that you were so concerned with my safety. Now, hold on. Did he actually... He did. I like that. The same strip we went to last time, except right now, it's literally just a uh, fetch quest. I can live with that. I'm just going to run upstairs quickly, dump some stuff off, and we're going to go and do it. I already went there overnight and actually... Cleared out what I needed to clear out. Don't have anything else on me that I want to get rid of, right? Actually, I do want to get rid of those those chili dogs. Because I don't need them. I have my stew. Alright, because it's a fetch quest, it'll be over nice and quick. I can grab it, run back to him, and then I can get the loot later. That's the big thing I love about fetch quests. Run in, grab, leave. Then you can come back and loot the place later. You don't even have to stay. It's tempting, though. But I will probably come back when I need to rip a bunch of stuff apart. Sorry, I have an itch in my leg. Worst timing ever is right when I'm in the middle of recording crap. <sighs> Isn't that when it always hits you, though? Alright. 
I wonder how far into it I'll have to go before I actually find the item. Boink. Yes, all that cobblestone, all that cement. It's back to normal. Eh, what's up here? Toilet. Not gonna worry about it. Not gonna worry about the majority of the loot. That's nice. And I will always loot these because of the Mega Crush. And coffee beans, which I can turn into coffee seeds. Now that I've taken that extra perk. Oh. My game lags out like that. It really bothers me. Hi. How's it going? You suck. Sweet, it's here. It's here straight right away. I don't have to go through the bulk of this place and I can come back later. I hate you. No. Bad. I don't like you. Alright, I'll loot these walls here. Because, I mean... They're right here. And I can leave. I don't have to go through and get the mega loot. May as well do it nice and quick. Get it done, and yeah, if there is no horde, and the horde notification should happen at 8 or 9 o'clock, then I'll come back and finish looting the entire building, hack up a bunch of zombies, get some experience. Yeah, on my way back the other night, I ran in there, didn't get anything useful. There was a working Stiff's tools crate at the top. Give me more motor tool parts. I need the schematic for motor tools, whether it be the chainsaw or the auger. Augur preferred. I don't mind using an axe to beat down a tree. What you gonna give me, pal? Well, looky here, boys. We got ourselves a real life hero, and now he wants to be paid. Yes, I do. If you want work, you better not fuck this up. I'm not gonna screw it up. Shut up, old man. Now, I know I'm sticking with hunting rifles, but I think for Horde Knights I'm gonna keep attack rifle with me. Because it's powerful. I mean, if I get an M60, I'm going to keep it with me for Horde Knights. Though I won't spec into it because it's not my guy's main choice of weapons. But for Horde Knights, you know, you might need the extra firepower. And let's be realistic. As much as I want to stick with the rules, in an actual zombie situation, if you're a guy that is, say like Hawkeye, wicked with a bone arrow and can shoot shit with a pistol from miles away... And you've got an overwhelming force ahead of you. You don't have explosive arrows or anything like that to give you a bonus. What are you going to do? You're going to use what you have. Real life situations. Are you actually going to turn away an M60 machine gun if you have the ability to use it? Even if you don't use it well? I don't know. I haven't thought about it yet. Using traps and the like, pipe bombs and stuff. I mean, I'm a tool man. Those can be classed as tools given this situation. Molotovs, pipe bombs, different landmines. Is this... Okay, yes, this house. This one is totally worth doing twice because it's, it's wicked. I don't even know why I did that. I'll take that. Hello? Hi? Just die, please. Good night. Have a good day. We are coming through to this facility. This place I actually did... Uh... Yeah. 
I lived inside of it. It's an it's a decent location if you want to live inside of a POI. Mainly because, well, it's got an underground bunker. You just can't go wrong with an underground bunker. And the loot you're able to get from this place is phenomenal. And there is Horde Day. So because this is a tier 3 place, I probably shouldn't go and screw around too much. I should get back and make sure everything's prepped and ready for Horde Day. We're going to be smart about this. As much as I'd love to go in half-cocked like I usually do, being prepared in a run like this is the best. Ooh, hello, everybody. Hi. Roaming hordes for the win. Chances of actually getting... a drop bag. Thank you, thank you. I know where my bike is. Did I break into this place? Did I? Yes, I did. Okay. Had to be sure. Had to be sure. Yo, suit. Yo, suit man. Dislike. Actually, I'm totally fucking joking. I love those guys. They look wicked. Alright. Let's get back home. As much as I want to do another quest, we have to be ready for Horde Day. Now, am I going to bring resources to repair my base as they're attacking me? I'm a tool man. Repairs are in my nature. Though I kind of wish I had the ability to craft the turrets. I probably didn't spec my levels into it properly, but that's fine. As long as I remember to put the bridge up, they shouldn't go attacking the foundation of my base. They'll just come after the horde base. The two-pronged horde base, as I'd like to call it. As honestly, I'd love to call it. And eventually, this hill will no longer be here. I do have the full intention to rip that hill apart. Make this area nice and flat and construct all the way out. With several zones to which I can fight roaming hordes and stuff. Now, I don't think I actually looted in here. I did. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Okay, so I've got the reinforced concrete on the inside drying. This is good. I need to go and sort out my explosives. Because like I said, we're going to be smart about Horde Day. Last Horde Day I didn't do that great. Yes, I got a junk sledge. And yes, he will be quite useful. I have a pistol. I have that. How many pistol parts do I actually have? Excuse me. I have 20. That's perfect. I can only craft a level 144 Magnum because I haven't actually gone into any, like, specced into it, but it's still another weapon nevertheless. F 10 forged steel, 3 duct tape. I think I can actually manage that. Okay, I didn't put any there. There's 4 forged steel. Pretty certain I have more forged steel around here, don't I? Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. Well, look at that shit. I don't. Hmm. Let's see what traps am I able to actually craft? I can make tin landmines. I just need iron, gunpowder, nails, and duct tape. I can make a few of those. Put them around. That's fine. Um, I can make the M60. No. 
Can make a level two of that. I got a level four. I'm okay. Um, I can make time charges. Actually, I kind of want to make time charges. Okay, um... Can make Molotov cocktails, yes. Can I make pipe bombs? I can't actually make pipe bombs. I did see something else at the trader. I think I saw grenades. Better than pipe bombs. And if he still has the schematic for grenades, I'll be good to go. And I can craft a few grenades, and Horde Knight will be a little bit better, because I still have some explosives left over. Hey, jackass. You know, I'm actually going to grab those nails, simply because. Landmines. Oh, I know what that sound is. Do, 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 do. There it is. Don't let the door hit you on your way out. Give me one second before I get too annoyed. Segnabbit. Sorry about that. And yes, I did not pause because it's a me thing. No, my son actually left uh, Minecraft going on the Xbox and he was logged into an online lobby and he was getting his ass kicked. I could hear it through my headphones. All right. Wait, what? Oh, there was an airdrop there. In the middle of town, and I didn't think to go and grab it. Heh. Grenade. Mechanical parts, gunpowder, forged iron, and springs. You know, I'm decent on springs. I know I got some forged iron here. There's some gunpowder. Pretty sure I got way more springs than that. thought so and the house that i was just at which is going to be for the horror which is going to be for the quest anyway blah, blah, blah. essentially that one is actually fan freaking tastic when it comes to getting springs because there's a ton of beds so wrenching the crap out of it through both runs will actually be smart okay you Hey, look at that. I got those for the sake of argument. Um, what was I doing? What was I doing? What was I doing? Right. Craft. You're already doing good. We're doing good. Yes, 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 madam. Okay, I don't have as many springs as I would like. I'm just missing the mechanical parts now. Mechanical, mechanical, we got the mechanical. 21 ought to do it. Okay, I'm, I'm okay on that. Hmm. What can I go and do? I want to go and just screw around, see if I can level up once. And through leveling up once, I'll be able to actually take uh, Rank of Demolition Expert instead of taking my armor. I'm not so worried about getting hurt, so armor isn't that big of a deal. And Horde Knight should give me plenty of opponents to face. For as far as messing around goes, so... Whoa. 
What? Ooh, we're getting ferals more often. Ow. Ass. Hmm? You know, go away. Just go away, dude. May as well come running around and seeing what springs I can obtain. Actually, there's a better place I can go. There's a motel here in town. Yeah, right down the street, there's a motel. Several rooms, several beds. A couple of safes I can smack around into. Yeah. I got this. I got this. Day sweet in. Days end sweets, not days sweet in. Oh, what the hell am I doing? Ba ba da ba 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 ba. Park it nice and easy. Do 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 do. Hello. Oh hi. Not gonna lie, I was actually shocked I hit him. All right. Gimme, gimme. Mechanical parts are useful. Mechanical parts are useful. And what I'm also gonna be doing is I'm gonna be making a couple more, um, a couple more forges so that I can take them down into my mine and smelt the ever-living daylights out of the stone that I have down there for extra cement. I mean, if I get a screamer and the screamer comes barreling down into my mine, I'm in my mine. So not a bad idea. At least in my head. Magnum bullets. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Let's get these springs out of the way. That smart zombie. Just gotta stay focused. Four springs of bed ain't bad. Plenty of grenades. Dude. I'm sorry, but the wrench actually does make a pretty viable weapon. Wait, 
wait, I saw a health bar. Horde Knight is on me. So I may as well set myself up for success, right? Um, okay. No safe in this one. Whoa, okay. Oh, you're the new graphics for the Hawaiian shirt zombie. Damn. I love it. Alright, so this one also does not have a safe, which it sometimes does. Hmm. No bed? No bed. That's weird. There we go. Smack. Smack. Yo. Bunny. Drink one. Well, eat one thing there. There we go. It's going to give me a little bit of... Hi. What's up? Ooh. The game is taunting me, I swear. The amount of motor tool parts I've obtained, but not the schematic. It's, it's a taunt. It's a taunt. Saying, oh, we know you want this. We know it's a part of your play style this time. We're not giving it to you. At least that's what it feels like. Okay, how are we doing? Okay, that's enough springs. I've wasted enough time. Wee hurt myself. Let's go back. I was about to go the wrong way. Bad Tommy, bad Tommy. Get inside, make more grenades. Make ten more grenades. Thirty should do it if they start to group up a little too much. Having a couple of landmines around probably won't hurt. Okay, so let's grab that. Um, no, we'll just do that. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. Yeah, that'll be fine. All right, so traps. Duct tape and iron. Why am I always forgetting the duct tape? Duct tape, duct tape. I know I got duct tape. La 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 la. la. Got to get organized. Got to get organized. There's at least glue so I can make some duct tape. Uh, yeah, I'm going to need to make a lot more uh, duct tape. All right, first things first. Duct tape, thank you, thank you. Okay, 
This will be good. Actually, yeah, that'll do. Okay. Now, to store the crap that I don't need... No, wait, that goes in there. Then those I'm actually going to store in here, because they're part of my building materials. Wait, that's ammo. Da-da-da-da-da. I'm only going to really need the health bar. I'll just toss that in. Put this in the smelting area. Alright, so... While messing around... Boop, 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 boop. Molotov, pipe bomb, Molotov. And we are going to have the tin mines. We are going to have the grenades here soon. This was a short one in a sense. Half an hour long, but you know what? Whatever. I'm going to get everything prepped and ready, and I'll be ready for Horde Night for the next episode. I'll probably gain a level by then, because I'm going to go messing around digging up the environment. Because, well, me. And, well, I hope you enjoy when Horde Night comes, and I hope you enjoyed this episode of me just literally running around like a chicken with my head cut off. But, I will see you all next time. Have a good one. Bye! <laughs>